Let's show this is the odd one. I'm um, just doing a short little how I feel about the masteries for this, uh, I guess, patch. Might be changed, you never know. Uh, so, what I've found is I'm honestly going to talk about offense and defense. Like, utility, I think it's really, like, right now, early on, the jungle is really hard, and putting 21 here would probably slow you down a lot. Like, even though there's a few good masteries here, like, Culinary Master, that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, Runic Affinity is really good. It's really hard to put 21 points in and not ha have like a really weak jungle start, uh, unless your champion's like, like just flat out strong. Like you get away with it with Olaf, because that's Olaf. It's Olaf. Uh, Olaf is just that good that you could probably get away with this. But I feel that most champions that won't be nerfed in the near future. I know Olaf's probably gonna be nerfed because. He sort of breaks the game. Um, a lot of them won't do 21 offense, cause I mean 21 utility, because it's just very very hard to clear the first clear with this. And yeah. So anyway, we'll focus on offense defense. So, let's see. So I found that I usually go defense tree now. Uh, I switched my Vi into that for reasons I'll explain later. So yours should be yeah this is a standard page. Um, this one's by Shivana one. I think I'd probably use this for Vi as well. Let's see what I would do. So uh, we wouldn't get double-edged sword. You don't want it on jungle like this. This goes more for range AD carries or uh, burst assassins. Uh, tanks are completely useless with this because they don't do enough damage. If you can't kill someone really fast. They'll be de like any person hitting you will be doing a lot of damage and typically melees if they're not burst assassins they don't want this because you'll be focused by more than one person when you run in like if you're Zin Zhao and you can't kill the target fast enough uh, everyone that hits you will do an additional 1% damage this is really fun this is good this is also really good both fury and sorcery are fine uh, depends what your champion wants but since we're this is a Shivana or a Vi page for for, I mean 5% attacks is not bad which is okay. Uh, it's two di damage minions. Uh, the main reason we get this is either that or 1% CDR. You could get 1% CDR if you really want. Um, it's because we only have three points in this row. Uh, you could get this if you really wanted to, if no one else on the team gets it, but it depends what you want to do. Uh, technically, this spell is that, or this master is really good because everyone else attacks the enemy will, will do 1% more damage. That's actually really, really good. It's just. Uh, I don't know how much of a team player are you. Um, this is for APs, obviously. So we have 1080. That's standard. Uh, I think last season it was 12 for four points. Um, anyway, what we really wanted was this. So instead of having armor pin in this row, it is now 580. That's a lot of a lot of damage. I think gold value is now 180 or 160. I think 160. No, 180. It must be 180. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, the price of attack damage was lowered, uh, the long sword was lowered. So this is a really good mastery, really amazing. Five damage. That's like wow, that's two runes. So for one point, you get that much. Like f for three points, you get ten. Woo! But this one's like from level one, you get five damage. So that's pretty good. So that's for Shivana's nine offense. So for Shivana in defense, you'd have block. Really obvious, it's really strong. Like anything that negates a lot of a bit of damage is good. So obviously recovery, I don't like it that much. I think it's like 28 gold each point, but I think uh, health regen tends to be overvalued. If like if you were to use rejuvenation bead as a guide for regeneration, it's actually really inefficient because almost every item rejuvenation bead upgrades into it makes the regeneration skyrocket in efficiency so that's why rejuvenation beads a really bad uh, I forget marker for each point of HP regen so this is not not good at all don't get it like I honestly don't see how it, like it's a fifth of rejuvenation bead. it's so weak like it take a long time to heal you um, this is good obviously for most melees, reduces all damage by two, so even spells, anything, um, really good. Enchanted armor, uh, so maybe you'd get this on Vi, I probably possibly would switch it out, I'd probably put two maybe here or something. Um, reason why it's good on Olaf and Shivana is, note that it says 
increases bonus armor and magic resist so not your base armor so like level 18 your champion could have like 80 armor uh, base armor this does not count this does not increase it um, only increases armor from masteries runes items and skills so basically any outside source um, so it does not include your base armor which you get from leveling up when you start with like 20 armor level 1 does not do anything to that. Uh, the reason why Siobhan and Olaf like it so much is they have essentially passives and ultimates that increase armor and MR, so you get massive amounts from this. Uh, really good for those two. For Vi, it's not as great unless you intend to stack a lot of armor and MR, which may or may not be possible. Uh, you might just go Triforce early. I mean, Nisco would be useless for most of the game. No, the second thing to note is this skill doesn't really do much early game until you start stacking the armor and MR. So it's basically dead weight for first 10 minutes probably, and then it finally slowly starts kicking in. Um, so that's that. Uh, this is just, I mean, reducing damage by two from every monster is actually a lot because there's it affects small walls, like small race. Like say a race does 10 damage, you basically reduce it by two. That you've already reduced it by a fifth. So that's pretty big. Um, Let's see, veteran scar is not as good as it was before. It's three points for 36 AP. It's like damn, this this uh, skill got gutted. I think it used to be one point for that much. Uh, Juggernaut is now instead of here, it's so here. It's pretty good if you're a tank stacking HP. So uh, you probably will get a giant spell like as your third item or something and build something from it, unless you're really fed. I don't know how about this. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It does a lot of damage on higher HP monsters for the first few hits, but slowly doesn't do as much. Um, it doesn't do much to the small ones, either the small minions. I guess seeing a small race has starts of 250 HP, that would be 2.5 damage on each of them. So I don't know if it's that great. And I don't even know how long it bleeds. Oh well. Is it, is it like a... No, I think it deals, it deals one damage each second. I don't get how long. It doesn't say the duration of how long they bleed. Depression. Certain champions like this, I think a lot of champions don't need it. Uh, like Rasejuani, obviously, is probably a really, actually, a really, really good skill because you always, your opponent will always be slow. Probably, like if they're not slow, then what the hell? Uh, the thing is, it has to be the target that attacks you. Like a if a range AD carry hits you, it's likely they might not be CC'd, or else you're probably killing them. Um, oh well, so. Olaf Shivana doesn't get this. Like Olaf, like he has a uh, slow, but unless like his team slowing them or CC in them, it's highly unlikely to target. He's he hit with an axe is attacking him because usually if Olaf run at you and you hit an axe, you're probably gonna start running. You're not gonna stand your ground and take your chance against Olaf. You will die. Uh, so that's that. Um, well, that's that. We said that. Hardy Ness, it's even though it's slightly more go to fit or go per point than recovery. Um, the armor stat's more valuable I'd say than uh, the rejuve reju bead whatever stat. So I like it a lot. So we just put, we can easily put three here if you don't want enchanted armor. So that would what Vi would do. Uh, let's see, that leaves us with one point around here. You can you can put this here if you want. Uh, I put, use this on Shavai, I don't use it on Vi. You could, I'm not sure where you'd put it. You could you could also put the put it point here. Uh, crit strikes minus 10, but there's been like not many champions get crit aside from the AD carry. And you, that's a, this is a late game skill. It's actually a really strong late game, but if you want to end the game early, you don't really need it. But usually when you need it, uh, this one is okay. Like it's 4%. That's a lot, but it's area of effect and it's magic damage, not physical damage. So if Riven comes at you, I'm sorry, Riven's still gonna kill you. It's not gonna matter. Because it's only magic damage AoE. Oh well. Uh, which leads to this one. Like, I don't know. I'm on the fence. People keep telling me it's so good, but I don't know. Like, it doesn't kick in that well. And then, I don't know. It's Regen is overpriced. So I, I can't really give an opinion. Like, I had an argument on the chat about this. Oh well. Second Wind. Let's see. I haven't actually looked at this one because I never get put three points in this. Because it's a big investment. 10% when below 25%. Now, ah, thing about this is, you, like, unless you're really getting a lot of healing done, you might be killed by an ignite. Uh, 
you, you might be dying when you're below 25 cents. I can't really give an opinion on that. I do can give an opinion. I think this is such a gimmick. Like, it's a cheesy all-in spell. So, Army Mastery, uh, I wanted to cheese someone with this. I'd r like, thing is, okay, you get 50 HP shield. Let's say you're jungling. And you do a camp. It will break. And it will never respawn. and Or never regenerate until you die. That is how bad it is. It's like good for a level 1 fight. Like if you want to do a level 1 fight with the enemy. Like this could be the edge you need to win. For 1 point it's not bad. Um, problem is. Outside of a certain few cheese strats. Like uh, like say you're Rengar top. And you get this. And then you run top. And then all in the enemy laner because you have a 50 shield I level one with your four pot and kill or some crap and then yeah you do that and you win just because you have that 50 HP shield like that's there's not many ways to use this because of how it regenerates it only regenerates when you respawn uh, so I don't think it's that great because you, you have to die for it to happen so aside from like a couple of cases that I've thought of doesn't seem like it's that good, but the biggest problem with this, it's it's position in the tree is really bad, because um, I like this spell, this this mastery. One point, you get one plus point five. Next point two, and then blah blah blah. So on paper, it looks really bad. Four twos, not that great, but it's for each nearby champion. So you're guaranteed four two if you're one v one in like You don't really need stats against monsters that much, but um, unless it's like that, but. Um, four two is pretty good for, or it's okay for if there's one chain nearby. If there's two chain nearby, you get eight four. That's very good because this is five for three points. This is okay, just two for the first point, five for three. So it'd be essentially having three plus in hardiness, more than three plus in hardiness, and one in resistance. No, no, two in yeah, two two and a half or so in resistance. But as you get as more champions are near you, if you have like three enemy champions near you, it skyrockets to 12, 6, so magic comes out to 20, 2010, yeah, 20 and 10, so huge in team fights, really nice, so usually all four points will go in that row. And then there's this legendary guardian, it's fine. I mean, if you're not stunned or fear, taunted as much, you may take less damage because you can dodge skill shots or you can run away, so pretty good, not bad, not bad. Um... Which leads us to let's say an Elise page. Okay, so um, oh no, no, actually I can explain uh, why I don't like Vi going 21 offense anymore. So let's make a new page. Uh, right here. Let's see. If I were Vi, let's see. We'd go there. We would not go this. We like unless we one shot someone. Highly unlikely. Uh, do this. Do this. This. And now we're at a weird point. So this is actually really good. So this is an amazing mastery. Uh, increase damage out to champions that are below 50% by 5. Really, really good. This is not so much. Like, it restores 5% of your missing HP and mana, but honestly, unless, yeah, it's, as, it say, as it says, dangerous game. Um, unless you're, like, fighting to the death and you somehow overpower your enemy, like, as in you win with, like, 1% HP, and then you'll get, I guess, you'll get a sizable amount to survive the ignite tick. But honestly, you have to count on two things you have to actually win that 1v1 and you have to actually be in a position where you would uh, would have died if you didn't get that 5% HP mana because typically you'd probably die right after if there's an enemy champion nearby you um, don't need that this is a big problem with this wolf going 21 in offensive I don't I personally do not go 21 offense in anymore because of this so what this does is it's like Enchanted armor, but it's for attack damage, so it only affects your bonus attack damage, not your base attack damage. Remember the difference between it, so you get 5%, but the thing about Vi is you can build a Triforce or a Blade Rune King, you don't get much bonus attack damage from it. I think Blade Rune King only gives you 30 attack damage, and I forgot how much, I think 25 or something from Triforce, something really low. Um, that means this would not give you, for 3 points, it'd be giving you like a few a few extra AD and that's not much it's not much of this compared to like say some, something like this like this gives 10 for 3 points I level by level 18 this gives 5 a level 1 all game like obviously this is the, one of the strongest masteries right now but this barely gives anything
Like if we were by, it's like what can we do with this? Not much. You'd have to go Hydra, I think. So I would not. I, I that's why I don't like 21 anymore. This is okay. It's like whatever. It's like for, for a jungler, you're just losing a lot anyway. So let's see, I'd probably not get this. Let's try it. I'll try not get this. This one you don't crit. You don't need it. This one you don't. Uh, you don't really have any. Like you. Usually you don't have many spells with Vi, like you have E, Q, and R, so you wouldn't need spe increase your spell damage because your spells aren't that spammable. Like you usually do a full combo if they're near, if they're dying, you just Denton blows them over and over. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if this is affected by Denton blow or Denton blows as a spell damage. I guess it would be, but I don't think it would be that great. Yeah, it could be. Huh, could be. Maybe it could. Maybe it could. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe I would get it. Why not? Why not? So, I'm gonna get this damage enemy with a spell, increase the base attack damage. I don't know, your basic attack wouldn't be that much, yeah. I don't know if this would be that good. Fine, we'll, we'll run it through. Now we're stuck with not really that great masteries because we went both that and that. I mean, I guess. And the, then there's this. It's like 2% armor and magic pen. There used to be an 8% armor pen and 8% magic pen in, in that row, but now they changed it. And put it down here. Um, yeah, so or not down here, down here. Huh? No, I'm just doing a video. Um, so six six. I don't know. It's not as good as before. Like think about Vi. She only has physical damage, so I would not. <laughs> Damn. I I don't really like it. It doesn't seem to do much, honestly. And then you finally get havoc. So I I don't really like twenty one in uh offense for Vi. So I, I probably wouldn't get that. I don't think. Oh well. So what I'd rather do is what I did the Shivana page. But if I did want 21 in offense, I'd have to go this. Like some of them are a little subpar. On the opposite side though, I really like. So like I think Jarvan 4 would probably do this too. Vi would do this too. Um, top lane Jarvan 4 might do 21 offense because you actually get, you get to use the bonus AD and such. So uh, it really depends on what you are. But most junglers don't build that much AD unless it's like Mastery, Fiora, stuff like that. So the common jungle is like, Lee Sin can use it a little, but I, I don't know. I used to go 21 offense at least, and I'd probably use the page I just made if I were Lee Sin. Yeah, I'd probably do something similar to this page. I don't think it's as efficient, so it's not as good. However, at least on the other hand, it's really good. So what I do on at least would get cooldown. That's fine because you already have a lot of attacks due from W. Let's just do that. And we have three here, three here, there, there. Because so, these two masteries are amazing. So I'd get this. This is an amazing mastery, obviously. I've already stated it. Really, really good. That's what I do for release. Spell being. These masteries basically were made for release. Um, you did Because you attack so fast in spider form. Because when you press W, you cannot get up to 100 and something percent attack speed. Really nice. And then you have your spiralings attack, and I think spiralings maybe countered as spell damage. I'm not sure about that, but you have a lot of spells. Elise has Q, like she has Q in both forms, W in this one form. So uh, really easy to get spell damage off, and both of them synergize with each other. So really easy. I'm not sure if spiralings kind of spell damage. I'm pretty sure it does because it's technically part of Elise when it's magic damage so well. And then we would skip this because she doesn't get much AD. We'd skip this on Elise because how often do you stack a death cap or something on Elise? So usually on Elise I'd go uh, Sork Boots, Haunting Guys, Abyssal Scepter. And that'd be a really strong build already because you get a lot of magic pen obviously because your base damage is really high. Uh, you would not get much AP from that build. And then I'd probably go Rallys Leandres maybe. And that build does not have much AP so... I don't know if it's worth sending three points. Like I probably get more AP from this, 16 AP level 18 than this for three points. Here, this is actually really good. Uh, hybrid penetration is really good for uh, Elise because again, Elise has a lot of can auto attack a lot and obviously loves magic pen. Really nice. Obviously good there. So uh, probably put nine here just to be a little more durable because I'm melee. So there's that. Uh, that's I think Elise is really strong with masteries because she's sort of a hybrid. Like I think Kale would be really good. Like Kale could probably use the same masteries like this. I'm pretty sure Spell even Blade Weaving were basically made for Kale too. So I'm pretty sure Kale would love uh, this this style. 
She could she could use what some of these, but I think kill would be, be really useful with this. Uh, that's that. That's about it. I think uh, a lot most most junglers probably fall in the 921 because nine gets you amazing stats. Nine gets you the amazing uh, martial mastery. Um, or if you're an AP, you could go arcane mastery. But not many APs left. Do I play? Let's see. Like I guess a Mumu would pr could probably get nine, then twenty one. I'd say, yeah, a Mumu would get nine here, and then twenty one in a various order. So I think that's about it. That's Ziggs. Um, so that's basically my take on the masteries for jungle. It's not much to go on, but uh, thanks for watching, and see you later.